This is an oil company that Warren Buffett has a stake in. Yeah, Warren Buffett has been a big fan of Oxy and particularly its leadership by CEO Vicki Holub, and he's been buying shares throughout 2023, so that adds extra attention to this story. But Oxy buying Canadian carbon capture startup Carbon Engineering is also a big story because they want to expand their leadership position in removing carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere. As mentioned, this is a one 1.1 billion all cash deal expected to close by the end of the year. Now, the two companies have been working together in partnership for the past four years on Oxy's West Texas Stratos project. That's set to be the world's largest direct air capture plant by 2025. Uh, DAC is the buzzword, and uh, it, it is the way it's described. And what it really means is pulling carbon dioxide directly out of the atmosphere. And my colleague Kevin Crowley and Houston says it's kind of like Oxy is now jumping ahead to carbon capture 2.0, where many of the rivals are doing carbon capture 1.0, pulling carbon dioxide out of concentrated emission streams from smokestacks or refineries. So this is really an advanced move in terms of clean energy. Um, it's important to point out that real momentum is now building behind carbon capture and what's called sequestration. It's one of big oil's favored climate solutions. and. Last year, after companies posted record profits, they got a lot of generous tax incentives for this. We should also point out the buyout is the second big oil CCS deal in recent weeks. ExxonMobil recently agreed to buy CO2 pipeline operator Denbury last month for $4.9 billion. So very interesting development. Yeah, so, so tell us a bit more about this increasing interest that we've seen in Occidental over the past few months. Yeah, this is a year, you should recall, where oil and natural gas prices earlier in the year were slipping, and yet we saw Warren Buffett, uh, who many people follow for his um, very prescient uh, investment advice, he was buying Oxy. Uh, what's very also important to note is he's a big fan of Vicki Holub. She is the only female CEO of a major oil company, and back in 2019, when it looked like she was going to lose the bid for Anandarko. She got a call to uh, put in a call to Warren Buffett. She didn't even think he knew who she was, as she tells the story. She made the call. He took her call right away, and he gave the cash to Oxy to make the winning bid for Anandarko. Apparently, he's been a major fan of Occidental ever since, with a more than 25 percent uh, share uh, in the company. It's just over 25 percent as of the latest third. 13F filing that we reported yesterday, and so a very interesting deal indeed.